Yo, 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 what's poppin'? Marcus Short here hey, with five keys, essential keys that I think help to make a barbershop run smoothly. Check them out. Okay, so key number one is very simple. Get to work on time. Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? Hey, um, is Tony here today? Nah, yo, Tony ain't here yet. He'll be in in about an hour. Uh, uh, are you available? Yeah, come on. Okay, that's how easy it is to lose your client. Or a client comes, opens the door, jiggles the door, your door is locked, shop is closed, nobody's here. Guess what? There's probably a shop down the street that's open. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Google, yep, I'm gonna look for another shop, and I'm gone. Tip number two, protect the vibe. Protect the vibe. What do I mean by protect the vibe? What type of music are you listening to? How are you greeting your clients when they walk in the door? Are you saying, hello, welcome, thank you for coming to Billionaire's Barbershop? When they leave, are you telling them goodbye, have a good weekend, see you later, much love, peace, giving them a dab, giving them a hug, whatever it is. Protect the vibe. Tip number three, offer more than expected. In your barbershop, what do you have to offer besides a dope fade? Are you giving a shampoo? Are you giving a facial? Are you giving a hot towel? Do your clients get a free beverage? Water, soda, beer, whatever. Are they getting anything out of coming to the barbershop besides a haircut? Tip number four, don't compromise. To not compromise means this. You set a standard inside of your shop. Whether it's a standard of how you open, how you dress, how you look, how you greet your clients, how you talk, the type of music that we play, things of that nature. You don't compromise on those items. You know why? Customers expect that standard. And if they don't receive that expectations, they typically use Google or Yelp to leave bad review. They're leaving a bad review for the barbershop. And when a bad review hits the barbershop, it hurts the whole team. Tip number five, keep the house clean, right? A lot of barbers, the misconception is this, is that people want to walk into your barbershop and see a bunch of hair on the floor. Why? Because it looks like you've been busy all day long. No, that's not true. No, mm -mm. No, what it says is that you're too lazy to grab a broom and sweep it up. What it says is that you do not value your barbershop enough to keep it clean. You do not value the first impression that you put upon people because you could, you, you could care less if it's clean. First impressions are everything. I want to see a clean environment when I walk in. So these are my five tips for today. If you like what you heard, make sure you hit that like button right there, the subscribe button right there, and drop a comment. Let me know one of the tips that you would recommend to someone who is opening a barbershop or who is running a barbershop. Let me know what you would tell them. I, I only mentioned five, but there's way more than five. What are your five? Let me know. Make sure you leave a comment in below. Peace.